Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead and the continuing terrible day of uh, Granny Esther. Esther, 37, a senior citizen, mother to Daniel, 19, deceased, grandmother to Eliza and Edward, both three years old, deceased. She watched as her son and grandchildren were torn apart by zombies from her window here in her retirement home. And then she quickly rushed to her underground bunker here, we find her. When she was ready, she came out and she decided something's got to be done about these hoodlums, these vandals. And she went out and started clearing the neighborhood one by one, one zombie at a time. And what a busy day it was. But now, Granny Esther, she had a drink of hard seltzer last night, went straight to her head. She went out, had a peek in the administration building and got bitten, infected even, on her left, on her left leg. And went to sleep without, without a second thought. So now, Granny Esther may have fewer than 24 hours to live. We've got to do something about that. And I don't know what we're going to do. I do know that we don't need to put on antiseptic or bandage anything. All of our limbs are in good shape. Uh, in fact... Uh, yeah, well, we, we, have, we have no uh, bandage effects or antiseptic effects at the moment. We're just... Oh, my dexterity's down to one for some reason. Cold, infected, um, overburdened. Don't live the dexterity is one, and I'm not sure why that is. We're feeling fresh. We're very thirsty and very hungry, so that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to have something to eat. Uh, we are going to cook something upstairs as well. But I'm going to... Well, actually, no. Yeah, let's do that first of all. Let's go upstairs and uh, cook some eggs, and then we'll we'll talk about the rest of the plan from there. Because I've got I've got a, I've got I've got a bit of a plan. It's not great. Yeah, eggs mushy. Let's uh, cook some up, because I don't think it takes too long to cook up some fried eggs, does it? Four minutes? Okay. Fry up some eggs, and we'll eat those. Yeah, both lots. Um, we're no longer very hungry, but we are thirsty. I'm probably going to have the yogurt as well, because I think it's going to be very healthy. And we'll drink the clean water. There's an India Pale Ale I want to leave behind there. There's not much going else, not much else going on there. So let's um, head back downstairs and see what's in here. I've got potato chips. I've got more clean water. Yeah. So let's uh, let's also have a grape drink actually. Yeah. Nice juice drink. We'll finish that off. Um. Okay. I want to make sure that we're getting. Well, we've had plenty of vitamin C. That'll be the grape drink and possibly the yogurt. We've had plenty of calcium and iron. I just want to make sure that we're getting plenty of calories and plenty of vitamins. Because uh, we didn't... I don't think we got our full vitamin intake yesterday. So where are the... Um... Uh, there's gummy vitamin. Where's multivitamin? Oh, down. There it is. 116 of those. We've got loads of multivitamins. Uh, so I'll take a few of those. I mean, it can't hurt to have too much vitamin C, can it? Scurvy's the other one. Scurvy's too little. There we go. I'm happy with that. We've had plenty of iron, calcium. Far too much vitamin C, but that'll be okay. And we've already had 866 calories today. Um, okay. But Granny needs to stock up. Esther needs to stock up. And think about moving. I am going to finish these lockpicks. I think, well, I'm going to finish a couple of these lockpicks, I think. Um, oh, just uh, just because. So let me search for lockpick. Improvised lockpick. There we go. It requires the rudimentary lockpick. Each one's going to take 20 minutes. Uh, are there any batch savings? No, no batch savings. So we'll, we'll create an improvised lockpick one at a time. That's one. That'll have taken 20 minutes. Two will take another 20 minutes. We're still very thirsty. Um, 
and three will take a full hour. Okay, that may seem like a big waste. Uh, sure. Just gonna try and drink plenty of water because apparently we're still very thirsty. Uh, now we're just thirsty. It does take a moment for that to uh, clear. It has done, okay. And I'm gonna grab some of this water as well. Yeah. Plastic bottle with clean water, take both of those. We'll take the, um... actually let's leave that one. Leave that one, we'll take these two. Um, and we'll take, we'll take the candy coated peanuts and the tortilla chips. Okay. The rest I can leave behind. I do want to grab the medicine. This is this is what went so wrong uh, yesterday. I'm going to take all these bandages. I am going to take ooh some aspirin. I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How are we for pain at the moment? Oh, we're fine. Um, I'll take eight aspirin with us. Alcohol wipes we're not going to need if I've got antiseptic, which I do. Yeah, plenty of antiseptic. So we'll take the uh, the one with the most uses. There we go. Uh, we will take some multivitamins. Not all of them, but... One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so let's take four of those. Uh, I don't think we're going to need anything else. No. Okay, we'll take those. Okay, so that's, uh, that's those done. Anything in ammo and weapons? Long pointy stick, walking cane? No. Uh, we do want to take the three improvised lockpicks and... Do we want to take all seven rudimentary lockpicks? Maybe I'll just take three of those as well. Okay. Heard wump, that's fine, ignore. Oh boy. So we're loading up our backpack. What's in there right now? Metal RPG dive, flashlight, uh, all of our tools. Yeah, we want to keep all the tools, that's fine. Including the sewing kit. Oh, the lockpicks are... Yeah, they're being split between the jacket and the, the rucksack. Indie Pale Ale. Um, oh, I don't know why I'm carrying that. It's because I picked it up last night, isn't it? Uh, the drugs that I've just picked up, we don't need to be carrying that either. Okay, we'll go over to drop, and I will drop the first aid kit instruction booklet. I will drop the... Oh, laptop computer we don't need right now. Uh, which means there's also a battery in here somewhere, right? I'll look for that in a second. We want to take all those drugs. We don't want the pale ale. Uh, the smartphone we do want... I picked up a spare battery somewhere, right? Oh. No, I was sure that I did. But I'm not seeing it now. Uh, let me search for... Yeah, medium battery, there it is. I don't know why I couldn't see that. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll clear that. And uh, medium battery is there to be dropped. Okay, good. Oh, anything else we want to grab before we go? Is anything else going to be useful? Uh, lots of containers, sheets, deck of cards, dental floss, duct tape. Is duct tape going to be useful? Don't know. Uh, a bunch more batteries. I've already got one in the torch, so I'm happy with that. Another medium battery here, medium disposable battery. So we've got plenty of charge for the laptop. That's awesome. Uh, nails, plastic, uh, cotton sheets, sorry. Um, plastic bags, plastic soap bottles, soap. Thread, thermoses. Oh. No. We don't want the dentures either. We don't want these books. We don't need them. I will take the cash card. The one with more cash on it check the pile here. Ceramic shards, copper tubing, wax, no. Check this pile. Just a bunch of clothes that I've left there. This one. 
bathroom scale. Oh yeah, a bunch of tools, but we've already got a lighter, so I don't need that. Okay. Okay, and uh, what's here? Just clothes, right? Yeah, we've already got a backpack because we're wearing the travel pack, which is larger. A bunch of other clothes. Okay, and then that's just filthy clothes there. Okay. I think, I think we've got everything I need now. Crucially, we have medicine. Why is my dexterity two? What is, what is harming my dexterity? It should be five. So I'm still, I've still got some thirst. I'm cold. But I think, what time is it? It's the afternoon already. Oh, it's the afternoon already. It's the afternoon already. When did I get bit? Like 12 hours ago? So six hours for the infection to kick in, then six hours for it to develop. I think we've got 18 hours. 18 hours to figure out how we're surviving. Okay. Um, it could be the cold, it could be the infected, it could be anything that's affecting me, really. Uh, infected. Yeah, dexterity minus three. Chilly. Speed minus two. Happy, life is good. Oh yeah, it's it's entirely the infection that's harming my dexterity. Strength's down, intelligence is down, and speed is down ten as well. Okay. Fuck, okay, here we go. We're going upstairs. Uh, there's nothing else for us down here. We're okay. We've got some clean water. I'm going to head out the back, I think. Yeah, I'm heading out the back. Because my first step one on my plan is this. Uh, I want to get a sense for... It's raining, for God's sake. Why is it got to be raining? Why is it got to be raining? I've got a raincoat somewhere, right? Surely it's on the clothes pile. Uh, search for raincoat. Yeah, raincoat, poor fit. It's a poor fit, but I'm going to have to take it. Let's wear it for now because it is raining at the at this uh, exact moment. Raincoat. Yeah. We just have to. Oh god, but it's going to make my uh, the first step on my plan really difficult. Close that door. I wanted to climb this drain pipe. Drop, say, the baseball bat and the backpack, wherever that is. Sorry. The travel pack, right here. And uh, see if we can climb. You can't climb here. There's a ceiling above your head. Okay, we can't climb there anyway, that's fine. Um, so I guess throw the travel pack back on and wield the baseball bat. Okay. Ceiling above our head. That's unexpected. I was hoping to get some uh, some height there. That is a shame. Changes the plan a little. I wanted to get a good view of the surroundings. Because the higher we go, the more we reveal. And that could indicate towns. We, we do have... Sorry, I, I pressed a bunch of buttons there. But I shouldn't have... I think we're okay. Um, right. So if we can get a sense instead for... Oh yeah, I remember looking at this. So we think there's... We think there's probably a city over here because, like, the forest... cuts out. Whereas on every other side there is forest because there are trails through the forest. So I think heading east... Sorry, west. If we if we exit the community, heading west is a good idea, like was the original plan. Um, but we'd rather stay in the community. However, I don't know if we can find antibiotics or an autodoc or anything inside the community. We've checked all the bathrooms. There's only been there's only been antiseptic and bandages, that sort of thing. Um, what else can we do? Well, I mean, we could try investigating another house. I don't know how much I fancy our chances. Oh, by the way, this would be a good opportunity for me to check something that I've... Uh... What is that? Wait. I'm pressing W. Not capital W. 
but lowercase w, which is toggle visible weather. So even though it is raining, I am not getting a sense of there being visible weather. I'm seeing light drizzle, right? Oh, cloudy. Okay. I can actually, yeah, I can. so I can see as I move around that it's cloudy over here. It's raining over here. Uh, weather's unknown beyond that point, but it's cloudy there. Okay. And to the north, cloudy. To the south, cloudy. Okay, so it's just raining over the community right now. Also, I have no idea what this is. There appears to be some sort of like, it looks like an NPC of some kind or something, but I don't know. What if I capital H toggle hordes? Oh. Oh, there is a horde. There is a horde right there as well. Well, how do we think hordes work then? I didn't realize it was going to be a... It's just a question mark. That's uh Okay. It's a question mark until you toggle the weather thing, and then it shows up on the weather map. Anyway. Um... Right. The way I think hordes work is, so they're wandering around on these tiles, the map tiles, and this will, you know, wander as it moves. Um, and I don't think the horde, like, technically exists until it gets within our reality bubble, which is about, like, this big. Um, and as soon as it, like, is on the edge of our reality bubble, they will spawn and become uh, active somewhere. And they might be inside a building, they might be, you know, anywhere, because they're a bit glitchy like that, which is why the option is off by default. Although these days they've worked out a few of the kinks like that. Yeah, okay, so we're not... Oh, God. Okay, so there's a horde as well. There's a horde as well. Just keep that in mind as we uh, try to go ahead with stage two of the plan. Do I want to even do this? Do I want to even exit the community? How oh am I? Am I wet? I'm infected, happy. That's all. Okay, so the raincoat's doing good work. Okay, here's what stage two of my plan was. It was climb obstacle here and try to climb onto the wall. You can't climb here. There is no terrain above you that would support your weight. Damn. I was so sure that... Uh... Okay, yeah, there's also the fence there, so that there's no way we're getting up there anyway. What about on the other side? Where does the fence start? On the... Oh, it goes all the way around. Oh, it really goes all the way around. We're fenced in. Is there no way over the wall then? Somebody mentioned... Uh using a stepladder, and I had the same thought about, like, trying to climb over the wall, but a stepladder would have exactly the same issue. You just can't get beyond this fence. You can't climb up onto the wall because there's the fence in the way. Shoot. Okay, so we're stuck in the community, unless we can get the gate open. Can we get the gate open? Oh god. I think we have to sneak along the front of these houses. First sight of a zombie. Um, I'll have concerns. That zombie is in the park, but it is going to see us as we go past unless we dip into these houses. Can we dip into, the, into one of these houses? How's the door locked? The other door's probably locked as well. There's a fence. I don't see any open windows. We've gotten by with... Um, well, previously we've gotten by with smashing windows and... We may as well do that again here if we want, if we want to get into this house. Okay. Because smashing a window is nice and quick. These houses tend to be empty. Oh, there's nothing. 
It's a bathroom and it's nothing. Uh, let me check the upstairs as well. I'm going to go to a crouch because I do know the referrals in the garden out back. I prefer not to be seen by them. Uh, bandage, bath toy, toilet paper, aspirin, shaving kit, alcohol wipe, antiseptic. I mean, we've got loads of antiseptic. Hydrogen peroxide, multivitamins. Oh, we're just not finding what I want. What I need. No. Uh, let's get a proper look, make sure that we aren't missing it. No. No antibiotics. That's a, that's a shame. Okay, and you've got a balcony here. You've got boxes of stuff over here. With nothing good. Sort of office. And bedroom. And sort of, yeah, just a balcony. With aspirins. Oh, God. Uh, we could try the next house. Oops. Or we could try the basement. Like, I was thinking another thing. Like, it being a retirement community, what's the likelihood of finding, say, a auto dock? It seems good to me. But... Oh, Arduino experiments is a... is a... is a manual, but it's showing as a question mark. Uh, yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind peeking into the basement. Turning my torch on might attract attention. I don't want... Let's do a peek first without it on. There's a crawling zombie in the way. Oh, I do in fact see a crawling zombie, yes. Uh, that is aware of me. It's not going to be making quick work to get up those stairs. It is in the way. Can I bash it from here? Probably not. I'd have to let it get up the stairs or get out of the way first. But I guess we're just going to go. We're going to go. I don't see anything else. Yeah, we're going to go back out the window. Everything's fine. God damn it. Okay, this door. Also not wanting to open. In through this window. Oh, I hear noise. Don't love hearing noise. Go to a walk. Um, okay, there's one put probably this door, right? It's probably another bathroom. Uh, just know that we may have to get out of here in a hurry. There's a feral human, aware of me. Oh god, uh, let's go upstairs quick. I'm not, I'm not even running. Why am I not even running? Uh, run into the bathroom. Check what's here. Liquid soap, hydrogen peroxide, heartburn medicine, antiseptic, alcohol wipe, multivitamins, narrow spectrum antibiotics, seven of them. Okay. Okay, that's better than nothing. Narrow spectrum antibiotics are better than nothing. Seven of them. Okay. We absolutely 100% need to grab those. Because uh, if we can't find anything else, these seven narrow spectrum antibiotics could save our life. I was worried that there was not going to be any antibiotics in the um, the houses here. So we need to take one antibiotic every 12 hours, I think. And we may as well take our first, like, now. It's going to take five seconds to consume either one. Um, yeah, they can't get to me in five seconds. Oh, there we go. I've taken I've taken a uh, antibiotic. The throbbing of the infection diminishes slightly. So the time is 2:14 p.m. We need to take our next dose of antibiotics. I am going to genuinely grab a pen. We need to take our next dose of antibiotics in 12 hours, right? So at um Whatever, 14... Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So 2 a.m. 2.14 a.m. That's when we need to take our next dose of antibiotics. 2.14 a.m. 
I believe. Okay. Uh, we will investigate, actually, because we've got it on our inventory now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It'll be under drugs. Drugs. Antiseptic. No, sorry, not antiseptic. It'll be... Here we go. Investigate. A narrow-spectrum antibiotic used to suppress infections and prevent them from spreading. It isn't broad enough to purge most infections outright, but it boosts the body's resistance against them. One dose lasts 12 hours. It also says portions two there. And this one says portions four. Yeah, so it is one, one dose is one portion, so we use them one at a time. Okay, one dose lasts 12 hours. I'm right about that. It is 2 a.m., 2.14 a.m. that we need to take the next dose. Good. Okay. We have antibiotics. And with those in hand, we just got to get out of this house. We've got to get out of this house. Uh, am I running? Tell me I'm already running. I am. Okay. Maybe I don't want to be, though, because of stamina. What other option do I have? I got to get out. I got to go quick. And I got to get past. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, are you faster than me? Sorry. Um, slower than me. Okay. Let's go back for the window. It's no sense fighting you. I could. I could fight you. That is an option as well. I could take a swing with my baseball bat. That would be no trouble at all. Because I'm in good health. You hit me. You hit my torso. Two times, in fact. Yeah. I guess moving on stairs costs a whole bunch. No. Maybe moving up or downstairs. Yeah. Okay. I'm still running. So let's run. Um, I could let you catch up here. But I'm afraid of you throwing things. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. You hit my torso for 11 damage. Let me get as quickly as possible out the window. And I need to run and try to lose you. Uh, what is this? Just a shrub. Uh, with 400 move cost, no matter where I go. Only 250 for those long bamboo shoots there. Okay, that's another hit for 9 damage on the torso. Um, I'm just going to... Feral human and two others. What two others do I see? Zombie and brainless zombie. They have not seen me. Good. You're not faster than me, are you? You are slower than me. Okay, so I can still, I can continue to get away from you. And the further I get, the harder I'm going to be for you to... 7 damage on the torso. The harder I'm going to be for you to hit. I just need to get to the other side of the fence. As quickly as possible. Stamina is going to give out. Okay. Um, at this point, maybe a walk? Just because of the stamina? They've seen me get to here, but what else can I do? They're going to follow. I don't know whether to stand and fight or just keep running. I think we're probably about as fast as each other. I'm just going to keep on this diagonal until I see them. Okay, I've seen you. You are oh, much faster than me. Much It might be better for me to close in and fight. I think it's better for me to close in and fight. Go to a run. Uh, go to a run. Close the distance. That's four damage on my torso. Why is it always the fucking torso? You've hit my head. You've hit my torso. Swing and hit for 12 damage. You are only mildly damaged. Swing again. You hit my head. My right leg. Uh, I send them reeling, but they step right back in. 29 damage though come on 16 damage you are close to down uh you swing for my torso you hit my right arm i miss i send you reeling for 23 damage critical the feral human dies fantastic smash that corpse okay continue after a break good 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 feral human dealt with Back to a walk. 
I want to apply antiseptic and bandage up my torso as well. How am I feeling standing in this rain? Um... Took weak antibiotic, pain, damp left arm, damp right arm, damp torso. Okay, I'm not feeling great. So, zombie to the northeast is way too far away to see me, so that's fine. I just want to get inside one of these houses and take the uh, take the um, antiseptic, the bandages, put those on. Just anyone will do. This one's fine. Oh, that door's locked. Oh, the window. There we go. Okay. So let's get bandaged up. First of all, antiseptic on the torso, bandage on the torso. Done. So that's going to make no improvement, but we're disinfected, poor, and bandaged poor. Okay. But my torso should heal up nice and quickly. We cannot afford engagements like that, though. My torso health was full. And now it's down to, it's practically down to half after one engagement. Strength's low, dexterity's low, intelligence is low. Why is intelligence low? What's affecting that? Infected? Oh yeah, infected, just doing that, okay. Only by two points though, should be a, a another point hampering that somewhere. Or is it pain? It's, it's pain, yep. I'm in distracting pain. You consumed mild antibiotics some time ago to fight off infection. If you don't recover, you may want to take another dose. But beware over dosage. Okay. That shouldn't be a problem on these weak antibiotics. Um, but 12 hours from now, we are going to need another portion. God, I hope this works. I don't think, I don't think it's worth looking for anything more. I think... Because, okay, here we are. We're in a retirement home. We're in the retirement community. There is uh, There are some underground bunkers. Like, I have one in my basement. There's another one over by this house. There's another one by this house. I think those lead to underground shelters. There's also uh, there's the park with a cave that leads to the sewers, that leads to the subway. There's other things going on in the park, just like... Yeah, like recreational buildings, that sort of thing. Uh, there's a community building and an administration building. Administration's just going to be a lot of paperwork, offices, that sort of stuff. Community, I was thinking, might have like a nurse's office or something. Maybe the administration building would. But to get there, we'd have to cross all the zombies and potentially lots of feral humans. I think we count ourselves lucky that we got the narrow spectrum antibiotics. I was I was really thinking about getting out, like using that fence and climbing over. I thought that was a really good idea. I've had it in mind for a while now. Um, and as I say, somebody else also mentioned the idea of uh, building a stepladder and getting over the wall as well, but I don't think that's possible because it'll have the same problem as the fence. You get up onto it, you climb up onto it, and then you're high up. But because of that fence in the way on the top. We'll take a look. I'm going to go back into my home and take a look. I've left the gate open, I think. Am I warm? I'm warm, apparently. Despite the rain, I am warm. There's the one with the boxes. So we go past that and we go into this one. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Go upstairs and take a look outside. Uh, I see a decayed zombie. It has not seen me. Ignore. Continue. You know what? I want to close these curtains, actually. Let's go to a crouch. And we will. If I've got curtains, I want them closed so that that's not going to be an issue. Is that decayed zombies on the road out there? Let's take a look. These windows are already open, so let's take a look out here. What, like, what is this that I see? Impassable. It's a metal fence. It's impassable. It's probably climbable, but to climb it, a stepladder's not going to do the trick. 
the fence didn't do the trick. A step ladder's not going to either, because you climb up onto a step ladder, and then you can use that to climb a wall, climb another obstacle, climb up to the next layer. But with that in the way, we can't do that. We'd have to be on this level, and then press um, examine here and climb that metal fence to get over it. And then it's a two-story drop on the other side once we do that. Or it's like a one point something story drop. It's not one story anyway. So high risk of injury. We have to use the gate. We're trapped actually. I didn't realize we were trapped, but we are. We're trapped until we figure out how to um, open the gate or smash our way through the wall. But yeah, let me get this raincoat off because uh, we don't need it. Oh, well, we're going to take it back downstairs, but uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go downstairs. And we'll, we'll drop all of our things. Um, not the baseball bat. We'll keep that with us. We'll drop the raincoat. And if we're still too warm, I'll actually take off the, the leather jacket as well. Which has 37 items in it. Bunch of stuff, actually. So maybe I want to keep that on. God damn. Okay. It's all about staving off the infection for the time being. Okay, I'm no longer warm. That's fine. Oh, God. So in 12 hours, a little under 12 hours, we'll want to take our next dose of antibiotics. How are we feeling? Turgid thirst. Distracting pain. Let's take some... Um, the only painkillers I've got are, are aspirin. So, let me examine those. I'm going to take one aspirin, two aspirin. Ignore and continue. Oh, we've got loads, actually. We've got 234 there. As well as calcium tablets, but we've had our calcium intake for the day. Iron is the one thing we don't have. The reason I'm talking about like um, nutrition so much is I think that maybe it has an effect. Eating well, I think quite possibly has an effect. Eating healthy. So I wonder if we want to crack open the pickled meat. Probably not. Candy coated peanuts, those sound healthy enough. Potato chips and tortilla chips, not really. The problem is, our character hates veggies as well. So if we've got fruit anything anywhere. There's all the other houses as well I still need to check. Um, no, that's sealed, so that's going to last forever. I'm going to munch on some tortilla chips, I think. Uh, and I'm happy to leave it at one packet for now, so that's okay. What else? Oh, I'm feeling tired. Despite a full night's sleep, I'm feeling tired. That's got to be the... That's got to be the um, infection, right? Will it say, if I go over to infection, will it tell me why I'm feeling tired. Uh, okay. Effect started seven hours ago. Strength is minus two, dexterity is minus three, intelligence minus two, speed is minus ten. Freak, which could be short for frequency or frequently. Fatigue, unfrequently, sleepiness, rare, thirst. Okay. So we want to make sure that we've got water to hand and plenty of it do we have loads here clean water clean water yeah not as much as i would like but um we do have more portions in the uh, in the thing if i'm tired is it worth going to sleep for a bit okay i might i'm gonna drop the uh travel pack for 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 comfort's sake. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to drop the travel pack for comfort's sake and uh, 
Uh, maybe get some some sleep if I can. It is 2.30. We need to be awake at 2 a.m. to take our next dose of antibiotics. So, are you sure you want to sleep? Yes. Uh, don't set an alarm, just, just sleep. Fall asleep. I'm nervous. Very hungry. Very hungry and thirsty. Oh, please wake up before 2 a.m. Okay. Whew. Okay, good. Very thirsty. Very hungry. I might go cook some food upstairs. But before I do, I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a. Another um. Uh, yeah, another tortilla chips, I think. And uh, a few portions of clean water. because uh, we are very thirsty. We're getting through this water quick, but there's loads of it. There's loads of it in the basements nearby, as long as I can clear them of the uh, threats in there. Still very thirsty, huh? Let's make sure that we also get um, our multivitamins down us. There's one left here. And uh, take a couple more of those, I think. Yeah, may as well take the last one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And yeah, you can see I'm looking up here. Iron, 98%. Calcium, 100%. Vitamin C, 96%. That's why I'm happy with the the uh, multivitamin intake there. Uh, and let's put the bag back on. Because it's carrying some stuff for us. Oh boy, what else do we want to do? Anything? Are we in pain? No. We don't need to bandage up. We don't need to antiseptic up. We just need to antibiotics in under a couple of hours time. Okay. Let's make sure that we get some eggs, right? Uh, can I stick on a torch or something? I probably can. No, I need to go into my inventory to do that for some reason and activate. And yeah, let's, let's, um, let's make some eggs. Fried eggs. The eggs should still be good. Eat both portions. Still very thirsty. Have I got the water on me at all? I do have one clean water on me. I might need to go find more water, you know. We're probably, we've probably had enough to... Uh, yeah, we've had a fair bit to eat. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Oh god, okay. Down we go. What more have we got to drink down here? Two more portions of clean water. Yeah. Let's have them. Oh, I'm no longer very thirsty. Good. Good. I'm going to have the candy-coated peanuts because they're going to... Oh, well, apparently... Tortilla chips will increase my joy more than anything else. I might have the whiskey, actually. Although that's going to affect Quench. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Although hop spiced mead. Plus 21 to joy. How am I in terms of happiness, by the way? My mood's not great. Um, yeah, I'm going to have the spiced mead. Which has pretty good quench, 53 calories, and uh, plus 21 to joy, which is excellent. So I have a portion of that. And another. Is it alcoholic? Well-aged honey wine, spiced with a hint of hops, goes down bittersweet. Yeah, it is alcoholic, so I'm a little bit drunk as well. That's, that's good. 1241, so we'll have our next portion of antibiotics soon. Um... Okay. Okay. God damn it. Okay. The issue with it, with the infection is that it gets worse as time goes on. How's it looking? Where is it? 
badly infected. So badly infected, um, it'll have different effects. Strength is now negative three, dexterity is negative four, uh, intelligence is negative five, speed is negative 20. Constant fatigue, frequent sleepiness, rare thirst. You have an infected wound. You can also start vomiting uh, with some frequency at some point. I mean, do I take the antibiotics now or do I wait? Because they're every 12 hours, right? Uh, effect started 10 hours ago. Yeah. God. Come on. I've got time to do to do this, I think. Hang on. To drop my um, travel pack, leather jacket, to open up the zones menu, unload nearby containers. What time is it? 12.49. To also... Um, what's here? Oops, hang on. No, what is here? Oh, that's the stuff unloaded. Okay. I can also then sort out all my loot. I'm just going to put the medicine in the medicine place, the tools in the tool place, etc, etc. And this shouldn't take too long. It's just gone 1am. Yeah, okay, it's 10 past 1. And I sorted out every item possible. Okay, how am I feeling? Chilly? Where will the leather jacket have gone? Over to the clothes pile, surely. I want to wear... Leather jacket. That should uh, improve my state. I wonder if we can light this as well. No, I won't have lighting tool on me. I've, yeah, because I've put everything away. That's my problem. I, I, I have put everything away. I need to start favoriting items like antiseptic, like bandages, so that I've got them with me at all times, so that I never unload them. That's another thing to do. Because you can favor items and have that be the case too. I could just wait out the hour until, say, 2, 10 a.m. Like, I can do this. Wait a while. Wait. Um, wait one hour. It says, you should really get some sleep. Too physically tired to function well. I am exhausted, but it's 2, 10 a.m. Oh, God, I'm going to have some antibiotics. Obviously, I'm going to have some antibiotics. No respect for antibiotics. Here we go. And um, I need more sleep. The next dose is due in 12 hours. What else can I do? Am I hungry? No. What else can I do? Oh, God. Uh, let's check. Took weak antibiotic. Effect started 11 hours ago. Really? What if I wait one second? Surely, you know, I took one just, I took one a minute ago, right? You take some narrow spectrum antibiotics. Yeah, I did, didn't I? It was at six, it's now at five. Yeah. Okay, the effect. It still says here that the effect started 11 hours ago. Uh, is that going to wear off then at the 12th hour? I don't know. I might want to stay awake for the next four minutes. Even though I am exhausted. I might want to do that. Wait a while. Um... Oh, can I wait, like, a specific amount of time? No, I can't. Okay, one minute. We'll do that several times. Ignore this distraction and continue. We're going to wait a while. Another one minute. Same again. Just to get up to four, rather than doing the five. One minute. That takes us to 2.14 and 27 a.m. I didn't write down the second value when I originally took an, uh, antibiotics. But this says 11 hours ago still. God. 
Okay, we 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 will wait. We'll wait the full five minutes. Uh, so one more minute takes us to two fifteen. That should take took weak antibiotics up to twelve hours, right? Twelve hours ago. Okay, and it's still there. It hasn't worn off because, of course, I took another dose. Okay, exhausted. Is it a good idea to sleep though? Is sleep a good idea? I'm gonna eat some more. Oh god, candy coated peanuts. Oh, what happened to my. Oh, I've put my phone away somewhere as well. I need my phone. I'm gonna go grab the phone. Hopefully it's not been unloaded of its of its um battery. No, it won't have. Battery didn't come out of these things. I need that. I have nothing to consume. Head back into here. It's a brand new day. Oh no, it's not. Still showing good values for everything. Okay. Oh. God damn. That infection. If I go to sleep now, I need to take antibiotics. That's 19 hours ago. If I go to sleep now, Granny Esther could die in her sleep. But I don't have another option. I don't think I did have another option. I don't know how long it takes to get the gate open. Even if I did, I have no knowledge of the surrounding area. I wouldn't be able to find antibiotics or uh, broad spectrum antibiotics. Because to get either of those, you need to get to what? A doctor's office? A hospital? Very, very dangerous, especially when you're infected. Oh boy. It's a roll of the dice at this point. It is a roll of the dice. Just make sure that took weak antibiotic effect is still there. It is, and it's 12 hours ago, so I think, yeah. I think it's it's stayed because I've taken the second dose, so we're good there. I'm tempted to take a second antibiotic, but I know that like it doesn't do anything to take another one, right? To take two rather than one? Let's just sleep. Let's just sleep and see what happens to Granny Esther here. Um, I should write down when I need to take the next dose because I did it at two fourteen. Oh, it's going to be two fourteen p.m. now, yeah, isn't it? So there we go. I've just written that down. Right. Let's not set an alarm because if she if she just if she doesn't survive until two fourteen p.m., um, then we don't need that note anyway. We we won't need to wake up anyway. Basically, if she's going to die from the infection, she's going to die before it's time to take the antibiotics. So here goes. Oh God. Thirsty. Bandage wounds on your torso healed, disinfected. Very thirsty, very hungry. Dead, tired. 10 a.m. Oh no. I wake up, I wake up, I wake up, I wake up. I need antibiotics. Uh, it's too late. Um, it's every 12 hours and... Wait, no, hang on. 12.16. I've taken that too early. Sorry, I panicked. The throbbing of the infection diminishes slightly. Sorry, I took, I took, I've taken some more antibiotics and I've taken those too early. Um, that's fine. It's fine, it's only two hours too early. I just I, I was watching the, the clock tick away here, and I was like, I know it's at 14 minutes past the hour, but I forgot what hour, didn't I? Like an idiot. Anyway, that's fine. We are we are we're alive. Um oh. It's worse though. It's at the worst stage. Puss filled left leg. Effect started a day ago. I thought it was 24 hours it took. Constant fatigue, frequent sleepiness, rare thirst. You have an infected wound. Strength is negative four, dexterity negative five, intelligence negative eight. So yeah, my dexterity is currently zero. My intelligence is currently zero. Ah, strength is five. Um, speed is negative 30. What can I do? I'm still dead tired. 
but I'm dehydrated. I need to drink. I need to drink. I've got clean water here, and I've got hard seltzer. Um, India Pale Ale's got pretty good quench, but I should go over to the uh, to here because I can have more water from here. There are ten portions of that, and yeah, still very thirsty. Oh god, I'm just trying to get as much as I can from this. Food is satisfied, which is, is I'm just drinking water at the moment. When it's gone, it's gone. What am I doing? Oh, I may as well finish it off. Okay, there's more like that in other basements. I have nothing else to consume, that's fine. Like, I know this basement's safe, so I can get a drink from next door. That's fine. Can't go into that one. This one, I think, has zombies in it. This one's safe, so I can get a drink here as well. That one's definitely not safe. Uh, this one, I think, has a threat in it as well. This one obviously does. This, this one must, otherwise I would have went exploring it. Okay, so there's water next door. There's water next door, and it's my best option. This one I know has child zombies in. This one's got to be safe. Yeah, I could get water two doors down to the north. Okay. That's what I can do. But I'm, I'm not thirsty anymore, and I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I've taken some extra antibiotics, though. I guess... I guess I should just go to sleep again. Is that the thing to do? Oh. Esther. I don't know what's going to happen if you go to sleep. We've eaten. We've drank. We've taken some extra antibiotics. Early, but... I mean, early is better than... Late, right? I do need to note that, um, I suppose, the next dose will need to be taken at uh, something past midnight instead. So 12... 12 what p.m.? 12.16 p.m. Before 12.16 p.m. is when we need to take the next dose of antibiotics. Okay, Esther. Oh, please survive this. Okay. What do we do? I guess sleep. Yes. We'll wake up in six hours. In case of thirst, in case of everything. It's a comfortable place to sleep. I fall asleep. Very hungry. Esther has succumbed to the infection. Your limb breaks times six. <laughs> what a way to what a what a um what a way to succumb to infection as well. <laughs> It's the kind of infection that uh, lasts for 24 hours and then just breaks all your arms and legs at the very end. Amazing. So, yeah, um, there's no sense in watching the last moments of our life. We can do, but we're just watching nothing play out now. Esther Garrison. Oh, God. Last words. Kills 33. I I was so, so, so optimistic for this run. And then you make a really simple mistake, like forgetting to put on antiseptic and a bandage. And you know what it is? It's the confusion of doing all the zone sorting and stuff and, and the unloading and, and taking uh, too many steps like that. Sort of like frazzling my brain and then, like, because the, the antiseptic and stuff, I already had some in my bag. But then I unloaded, sorted everything into its proper place, and I forgot to pick it back up and take it with me. If I'd taken it with me, I would have applied the antiseptic and bandage immediately. And instead, instead we go out like that. The end of Esther Garrison. Our 37-year-old senior citizen who wanted nothing more than to settle down in the retirement community. She was here to defraud the community at first, but ultimately realized that these people are lovely and they just want to play bingo and have a survivor's club. 
One day, her son Daniel and his children, Eliza and Edward, came to visit, torn apart by zombies. And she watched. She ran to her bunker, hid in there. I've been over this story. And one morning she woke up and said, that's it. I'm not having it. I'm taking back the community. I'm, I'm doing something about these darn hoodlums, these whippersnappers. Messing up our fences. I was going to properly build up this community, like get it back into tip-top shape if something like this hadn't happened. But we survived two days, eight hours, and 48 minutes with 33 kills. Esther Garrison had a hell of a run. I think probably the second longest run on the channel. I think. Like my runs have not lasted long, but I'm getting better all the time. Esther, what are Esther's last words? Uh, Darren Hoodlums. That'll do. I mean, that was one of my favorite characters to play. Um, six hours ago, we were no longer feeling nauseous. We start walking, we wake up. Moving off the bed was slow. Take some narrow, narrow spectrum antibiotics. The throbbing of the infection diminishes slightly. Can I can I see more? Too physically tired to function well. I feel like I haven't slept in days. Too physically tired to stop yawning. From the north you hear wump. Comfortable place to sleep. Um, 11 hours ago, disinfected wounds on our torso healed. And six hours ago, we no longer felt nauseous. Drank clean water, never mind. Went back to bed. Succumbed to infection. I don't know what I'm looking for. Oh, that was me doing some auto-sorting stuff, okay. I wonder... Yeah, because when we took... When we took antibiotics that... Um, and this probably isn't how it works, but when we took antibiotics that... Last time, and the first time in fact... We got this message. The throbbing of the infection diminishes... Slightly. When we took it... The, um, the previous time which was here, you take some narrow spectrum antibiotics 15 hours ago. We didn't get that message. Nothing happened. I wonder if we actually should have taken a second dose then. Like, should we take doses until we see that message or no? Being careful to, uh... It's a complicated game, man, and I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. The tragic loss of Esther Garrison there. What a character. She killed two boomers, three cockroaches, two crawling zombies, four decayed zombies, two fat zombies, two feral humans, two sewer snakes, ten zombies, three zombie dogs, and three zombie runners. What a run. What a run. That was amazing. And her followers get lost, and etc, etc. Thank you for joining us both. Myself and the now late Esther Garrison, 37-year-old senior citizen, for this, an episode of Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. I don't know what's coming next, um, but we will see. In the meantime, I hope you join me for that, whatever it may be, and ta -ra.